so guys what's going on i hope you're all good um so sean porter says that he feels that this fight has come at the wrong time for keith one time thurman he feels that keith thurman is not ready for manny pacquiao and he believes manny pacquiao will beat keith thurman uh, he's been saying the exact things that I've been saying or in that interview he said the exact same things he said Keith Thurman didn't look too great against Jose Cito Lopez and he doesn't know whether at this time Keith Thurman's got what it takes to beat someone like Manny Pacquiao and he says Manny Pacquiao um, is always going to be Manny Pacquiao um, so I think I think I think Sean Porter's hitting the nail on the head when he says um, that you know Keith Thurman's not the fighter uh, he was, uh, and he feels that Keith Thurman's over the hill. Um, I think I think Sean Porter feels that you know he was trying to be respectful because obviously he's good friends with Thurman as well, and he says I don't. I think Keith will. He said I think Keith will probably think I'm hating, uh, but I just think this fight's probably come at the wrong time for him, and I totally agree with. Um, Sean Porter. I just feel that I don't feel that Thurman's got it anymore. If I'm honest with you, I just feel that you will see on the night when Pacquiao fights him. I think he's fighting a guy of a much higher level, and I just think Pacquiao will probably blast him out of there. If I'm honest, um, Sean Porter knows Keith Thurman well because he's fought him, and he knows what kind of attributes Keith Thurman has. And and he goes that you know what when he fought Lopez, a lot of people were expecting him to get Lopez out of there. Uh, but he just couldn't do it. Uh, I also feel that Keith Thurman, to me, is a bit gun shy. Um, I think that he's, I think he's, he's not fully recovered. In that fight against Lopez, he hadn't fully recovered. Now we don't know whether that's a long-lasting injury, whether he'll ever recover, uh, because he was out for a very long time. He was meant to fight, I think Jesse Vargas, or he had a planned fight with somebody, and then that got uh, cancelled because he wasn't ready. So again, it just shows that. He, after two years out, he had, he had to cancel another fight because he wasn't ready. He wasn't. He didn't feel he was in physical shape to to continue. So again, I just think that Keith Thurman's body, in my opinion, shot to bits. I don't think Keith Thurman has that phys body anymore. I think his body is probably given way. His elbows, his shoulders. We don't know what it is, but he's definitely in a lot of trouble. And I don't know whether he's going to be able to regain, uh, you know, the kind of form that he had before. Uh, the you know before the injury, I just don't know. I think Danny Garcia fight took a lot out of him. I think he got injured, and Danny Garcia. I think uh, the, there was rumors at that point that he broke his elbow. He broke Keith Thurman's elbow, and I just don't think Keith Thurman's been able to recover from that injury. Um, and I also think that that injury has not just affected him physically. I think it's affected him mentally. I don't think Keith Thurman has that same fire that he had before you know I just don't I just don't think he has that kind of same confidence and I think that's going to affect him when in this fight as well I think Keith Thurman's confidence is not there you know I don't think Keith Thurman was the type of fighter that was that was that that would say that you know what I'm not ready for Spence and you know Crawford that those fights are going to happen at 2020 making all kinds of excuses Thurman wasn't known for that but I think Thurman as I said before has become more of a businessman now than an actual fighter because I think he realizes that you know he's got to pick wisely the fights that he chooses because you know he he may not have that same fire the same hunger that just the physical attributes that he had because of the injuries that he suffered so only time will tell only the, the in this fight will find out but I just think I I I you know like I said after seeing Khan against Vargas many people thought that Khan was done you know um his body was shot to bits and I think with Thurman is exactly the same. He came back against an opponent that he was expected to win and he just looked terrible. He looked like he could he should have been stopped really. So I think Thurman's gonna go down the same road as a Khan where I think his body's physically not what it was. And I think he's passed his best, if I'm honest with you. Um and I just think Pacquiao beats him. And I think I totally agree with Sean Porter that Keith Thurman loses this fight. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with Sean Porter? Guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.